Hey guys, and welcome to Morea. Today, we're gonna show you how we installed our 165 watt max flex solar panel. Okay. How's my hair? Good? Yeah, sexy. Hey guys, and welcome back on board Agape. With the completion of our 110 watt Xantrex flexible panel installation, it's time to shift our focus forward. Today, we're gonna to be installing a 165 watt Xantrex max flex panel. So here on Agape, we're gonna be mounting the panel onto a fabric surface, but I really think that these are gonna do well on coach roofs or van tops, where you previously would have had to drill a hole. Now you're just gonna be able to peel and stick the panel. And we're gonna utilize this to make the installation hopefully even a little bit simpler. So it's really important that we make sure that the surface that we're gonna mount it to is free of dust and debris and it's perfectly dry. We've already prepared the surface, so it's ready to start laying out exactly where we want the panel on top of the Dodger. So let's go ahead and grab that panel, set it on top, and lay out where we're gonna put it. To make things easier on yourself down the road, before you ever permanently adhere a panel, sometimes it's nice to first see how you're gonna run the wires. Here on Agape, we're gonna bring our wires down hide them just inside the fabric, and run them along the stainless steel frame for the Dodger. So we already know that the center of the stitching line on the Dodger is the center of the fabric. So now we're gonna find the exact center of the panel to line up our side to side. Quick and easy, you can measure the entire panel and divide it. So this is the center of the panel. We'll just put the tiniest scribe line. So 30 and three quarters is the center. Mark it on both sides. Same thing, 30 and 3 quarters inches on this side. So at the panel right where we want it, we can go ahead and scribe a couple lines gently into the fabric. And we'll do this a couple of times on each corner and in the middle. Agape, Agape, uh, this is Yamaya. You gotta come out, there's whales out here. So now with the position of the panel marked under the fabric, we can go ahead and pull the Dodger fabric off and apply the panel. Let's go vacuum this one more time and stick a panel. So since Rachel and I don't have a lot of flat space up on deck, we're gonna actually adhere the panel to the fabric here inside the boat. We also call this boat yoga. <laughs> so now that the panel is all lined up, we can actually peel this backing off and stick the adhesive backing onto the fabric. Little lines make it really easy to actually lay this out. Xantrex recommends using a three inch roller to actually adhere this panel. So we're just going to go ahead and come around all the edges. So, one of the reasons why this panel actually looks different than I think it looks pretty cool is that they use a grid, a mesh that provides over 2,000 points of contact per cell to make sure that this is an even more durable panel. And that's what actually allows it to flex up to 180 degrees. So now that we've rolled on the fabric to the panel, we're gonna go ahead and get this out of our living room and put it up on deck so that it can finish curing for the recommended amount of time. So we've had the solar panel and the fabric up here for just over 72 hours on deck covered up so that it could finish curing but now it's done and we can put it back on top of the Dodger and finish our project. Right on, we got it all zipped up. We're gonna put our handrails back on the sides and then go ahead and wire this in. So with the panel adhered to the Dodger and the wires run, 
we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Before doing so, Xantrix recommends to deactivate the panel. To do that, you can just cover all the cells with a bed sheet or a towel. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So I've already run the wires through the cockpit combing in the boat and down into our C60 charge controller. So again, the solar installation, as far as the wiring, is very easy. It's just plug and play. These are the solar connectors, and these are the connectors run down to the charge controller. With the panel deactivated, you should go ahead and hear a click. Now our 165 watt max flex panel is plugged into the system. With our new solar panel installed, we can look forward to years of maintenance free, renewable energy. Thanks for watching as we continue to upgrade Agape and explore the world powered by Xantrex.